Invisible messengers from deep in the universe surround us. These messengers are known as cosmic rays and billions shower Earth every second in a random way currently beyond human comprehension. These subatomic particles are passing through you at this very moment, blazing close to the speed of light, blasted from supernovas and other astrophysical phenomena far beyond our own galaxy. This has happened throughout the history of the solar system, and by learning about them, we can learn about our origins. Particle Shrine makes these invisible forces visible. Utilising new creative technology, we found ways to convert the never-ending stream of cosmic ray energy into various outputs. Generative 360 compositions, vibrating surfaces, projections and lighting design. These outputs are controlled in real time by five cosmic ray detectors inside the installation, as well as by live readings from a neutrino observatory in Japan in Super Kamio Kando. We wanted to create an environment that's unique each time you step inside, a place where you could ponder these curious forces and hopefully experience a sense of connection to the cosmos in the process. Cosmic rays are radiation from deep in the universe. These ancient messengers have been traveling for thousands of light years emanating from exploding stars, black holes, or unknown ultra-high energy galaxies far beyond our own. Cosmic ray energies, types, and directions all have an important meaning for scientists, and we are constantly measuring and monitoring them. We learned mechanism of the most extreme object in the universe from cosmic rays, including black holes, supernova, blazers, and gamma ray burst. Cosmic rays are the highest energy particles, far beyond the capability of any human technology. So cosmic rays are a natural accelerator to study new particles, new forces, and new space-time structures that no one has ever seen. We have five cosmic ray detectors inside this installation, and they act as our musical and visual soloists in this cosmic cacophony. They are our own bespoke version of a cosmic watch, which is a small cosmic ray detector consisting of three pieces, a scintillator, a silicon photomultiplier, and an electric circuit, including an Arduino. A scintillator is a plastic plate mixed with a special chemical. So when the cosmic ray penetrates them, then there are tiny light particles called photons are generated. And these photons are scattered inside of the plastic and eventually detected by a photon sensor called the silicon photomultiplier. The silicon photomultiplier is a super sensitive light sensor and it can detect just one photon. And it amplifies to detect photons to electric signals. This signal is then transmuted into protocols which control the light, sounds, and vibrations. So every time you experience a blast of light or sound, it's directly caused by a particle whizzing through the cosmic watch in that area of the room at that very moment. If the cosmic ray signal is stronger, the light will be brighter, the sound will be louder, and the mirrors will vibrate more violently. If it's lower energy, we get a much gentler reaction. So these five cosmic watches are our sort of soloists in this piece, but there's another complex device, much bigger and further away, that is powering the orchestra. Super Kameo Kande is one of the biggest and most advanced cosmic ray detectors on Earth. It's a colossal water tank buried deep inside a mountain in Japan. A cylinder 40 meters height and wide, it's big enough to fit the Statue of Liberty inside. It contains 50,000 tons of ultra-pure water, so pure you can't even drink it. The tank wall is surrounded by 11,000 large photosensors called photomultiplier tube. 
So each of these sensors is like a light bulb in reverse. Instead of making light, they capture it and convert it to electricity. They are so sensitive that they can see a flashlight on the moon from Earth. The cosmic rays penetrate the mountain rock and reach Super Kamio Kande. With these photomultiplier tubes, science collects data about the cosmic rays passing through. This collection of sensors forms a sort of compound eye, constantly studying signals from deep in the cosmos. Some of the data from this detector is transmitted perpetually online. So we created bespoke software that turns the data into images and sound. The chords and projections are controlled by real-time readings from this curious device. Each dot is one of these light sensors. The color represents the intensity of the cosmic ray. So I experimented with ways to turn this giant cylinder in a mountain into a musical instrument in order to generate compositions from these celestial events. Here's how we did it. We divided Super Cameo Kande into eight segments. Each segment represents a note of a musical scale. The height of the cylinder represents the pitch. And the intensity and direction of the cosmic ray energy controls the chords that are played and the strength of certain notes. The types of scales we map onto the cylinder and the types of sounds that it triggers create interesting, aleatoric musical outcomes generated in real time directly from the observatory. I wanted to embrace this randomness in the composition process, but I also wanted to make sure the textures acknowledged the source of the data. So I chose a palette of detailed, shimmering colours that I felt evoked the sense that clouds of particles were jostling in the room with us after travelling astonishing distances. The system we have built with our creative technologist, Chris Ball, is pretty complex and experimental. And here's how it's all connected. We get data from detectors in the space and from Super Cameo Kande in Japan. This feeds into a bespoke patch in processing, which is an open source coding software. And this then talks to our lighting, our projector, to Ableton Live and DNB Soundscape system. There are so many things about cosmic rays that we don't yet understand. They present many mysterious questions for modern physicists. Where are they coming from? And how they are created? Could they hold the secrets of new physics deep in the universe? To unravel these questions, we must continue to develop new technologies and observe them. But ultimately, Cosmic rays are fascinating messengers from the universe and a constant reminder that we are a tiny part of it.